This is my racing drone and it's very different to the racing drones that you'll find at MultiGP. Not only is it a lot lighter, it's also faster, more durable, and overall cheaper. This is the five inch pickle race by Le Drone Club and Everything Micro FPV. The pickle race is an ultralight racing drone and comes in at 300 grams for the 4S version or 330 grams for the 6S version compared to the normal five inch open class drones that we see at races, which come in at five to 550 grams. This means that when you do crash, there is less weight and therefore less force to cause your drone to break. The other major benefit to running an ultralight drone, which we found in testing, is most pilots can get one to two seconds quicker just by switching to an ultralight. When it comes to designing a brand new racing fame, there is a very steep learning curve and I didn't really want to go through that learning curve and have to learn CAD. Lee Drone Club is a talented designer from France and all of Alex's designs are available on Thingiverse. But can you just approach a frame designer and ask them to design you a frame? Is it something that they're going to charge for or are they even going to be interested in doing it? I reached out to Le Drone Club on Facebook and pitched the idea of an ultralight racing frame. It turned out that Alex didn't have a racing frame in the current lineup so there was an excellent opportunity for us to work together. The design brief was to combine the Race X ET5 with the 533 switchback and use all of the 3D printable parts for the switchback that are on Thingiverse. Alex has just absolutely knocked this out of the park and designed a killer frame from my wish list. When we've been at races, a lot of people are asking, why would you run ultralights? And what we found in testing is that most pilots are able to shave one to two seconds off their existing times with an ultralight compared to a five inch normal racing drone. This is because of a very high power to a very low weight ratio. With the ultralight racing drones, you can carry more speed and don't need to pre-turn as much, and you're able to maintain tighter lines than what you would with a normal size racing drone. Shaving off fractions of a second at every gate because you can maintain a tighter line adds up over the course of a track. When it came to developing the frame, one of the biggest considerations was the motors. Through testing, we found that 2203 motors tend to be the sweet spot between power and weight. When it comes to 6S, there are a limited number of choices of motors available. I'm currently testing the RC and Power 2105 Plus in 1850 kV, and they seem to be working out really well. But I also had T-Motor make me some 2000 kV motors, which I really like. However, I found it a little bit too expensive. When it comes to 4S setups, the Access Flying AF223s at 2910 kV are right on the money. When it comes to racing, I prefer to run HD0 and I'm running the Whoop VTX paired with the Micro V2 camera, as well as TrueRC antennas, and of course using all of the 533 switchback TPU to keep it all together. Flight controller and ESC choice is really important to get right. The frame supports all in one boards as well as 20 by 20 mounted ESCs and flight controllers. Now, in order to save weight, I've gone with an all in one and I'm using the Foxy Reaper all in one at 45. Amps. Then to bring the build together, we need to select a battery, and because a good battery can make the difference between finishing the race or falling out of the sky. For the 6S builds, I've tested a number of different sizes, but I've really found that the 650 6S is the sweet spot. When it comes to 4S builds, we found that the best all round battery to have is an 850 milliamp hour. One of the hardest things about designing a frame and putting together a drone is actually getting it tuned. Fortunately enough, with Beta Flight 4.3, the Karate Race preset is right on the money. Flashing Blue Jay to the ESC to give it RPM filtering, as well as using the Karate preset, just makes this fly like it's absolutely on rails. If you'd like to try the Pickle Race, you can get it on Thingiverse, or head over to CNC Drones, where you can get a frame cut. I'll leave a parts list in the description. You're probably wondering how well this flies. Well, at the time of this video, I've qualified 26th for the Australian Drone Nationals. So if you want to see the drone in action, check out this video here to watch my qualifying run. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.